Hi folks, HR Funk here. About a year ago, I made a video reviewing this product. This is my SSP Premier Top Focal Shooting Glasses. And if you didn't see that video, it's still up. I'll put a link in the comment section of this video. But essentially, these are vision correcting shooting glasses that I got from Optics Planet that have a top focal lens so that when you're wearing the shooting glasses, and you bring your firearm up, handgun or rifle, it sharpens the front sight. And I've mentioned several times in the last year or so, I'm getting to the point where that front sight is starting to get a little bit fuzzy. I'm not sure why. I don't know why it's getting fuzzy. <laughs> but what I do know is these top focal lenses help to sharpen that sight so that I can achieve the same level of accuracy now that I have been prior to this when I was not quite as experienced as I am these days. In any case, I made that video and I didn't think a whole lot more about it. And I've used the glasses periodically throughout the last year or so. And about a month ago, I got an unexpected email from the president of the company that manufactures these glasses, which is SSP. This is SSP Eyewear, and I'll put a link to their website in this video description as well. And he mentioned that he had been going through YouTube and he came across my video and he was very appreciative of the fact that I had made the video reviewing his product. And also during the course of that video, I made mention of several things that I thought could be done to help improve this product. And he said that they had actually incorporated some of my suggestions into a redesign of some of their eyewear. So I thought that was extremely cool. And we emailed back and forth a few times and ultimately I ended up talking to this gentleman, his name is Mike, talking to him on the phone a couple of times and we had some extensive conversations and I have to tell you, I didn't know how much I didn't know <laughs> about shooting glasses and optics in general when it comes to safety lenses and such. So in the course of talking to him, he asked me if I would be willing to review some of their updated products and some of their other products if he sent them to me. And I said, sure, that'd be fantastic. So he sent me a variety of different things from their product line. In this video, I'm going to be talking about those products and talking about some of the things that I learned through talking to Mike. So here we go. So as I start into this video, folks, one of my biggest concerns is forgetting to tell you something because, as I said, during my conversations with Mike, he passed on a tremendous amount of information about their shooting glasses, beginning with the fact that the biggest reason most people sustain eye injuries is because they're not wearing any kind of eye protection. And there are various reasons for that. One of them is that a lot of safety glasses or shooting glasses just don't look that good. So SSP tries to manufacture all of their glasses to be fashionable. And I got to tell you, particularly with these, and I'll talk about these in a little bit. These are the Entiot sunglasses. These things look extremely cool and they come with frames that are different colors. And when I put them on, they almost make me look cool. Well, okay, maybe that's a little bit of a stretch, but at least the glasses look cool. And they have mirrored lenses. I like these a lot and I wear them a lot of times when I'm driving, if it's bright out at all. And they have vision correcting plus 2.0 bifocals in the bottom. So if I look at my watch, look at my radio, look at anything else while I'm driving, I have that vision correction to help me see what I'm doing. Anyway, back to the glasses themselves. Along with being fashionable, there are other characteristics that these glasses all employ. For example, the lenses on most all of their products are shatterproof, they're fogproof, and they have a hard coating which makes them scratch resistant. Now, according to Mike, if you drop these things into a cement mixer that's filled with gravel and rusty nails and broken glass and things like that, you can still scratch the lenses, but it is not easy to do so. They also have frames that are described as being infrangible. In fact, I read the lifetime warranty on the website for SSP, and when it mentions these frames specifically, it says, if you manage to break these frames, we don't want to piss you off, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. And if, if you read the lifetime warranty, there are a few comical things in there, but they do stand behind their products. So the frames, as I said, are infrangible or unbreakable. And also, the glasses have 
this is going to be hard to see. I'll have to show you in the close-up view, but there are special rubber pads on the temples and a special rubber compound on the nose piece that as it gets warm and as it works with your perspiration, it helps to adhere to your skin so the glasses aren't going to be sliding around. That's another extremely cool feature. They're intended to give you a very large field of view and they're intended to prevent any sort of distortion with the light coming through the lenses. And I'll talk about this more later because these are described as being optically correct, decentered lenses. That was another thing that I had no idea what those words meant until I talked to Mike and I'll do my best to describe it accurately, accurately and not screw it up. Mike, you're gonna have to forgive me if I don't get it quite right. In any case, the lenses along with that block 100% of the UVA and UVB rays to prevent any kind of damage to your eyes from light. And also these lenses, these are the copper bronze lenses and they are blue blockers. That's another thing that I never knew what that meant. Now this is specific to this color of lens. It blocks all of the blue spectrum light coming into your eye or from coming into your eye. And according to Mike, the blue light is what causes cataracts. So by wearing these lenses when you're out in bright sunlight, it can help keep you from having cataracts later on in life. And I have a friend who just had cataract surgery to have his cataracts removed. And as his eyes heal, he has been telling me how fantastic it is because he can see colors so much more vividly and see things so much more clearly with his cataracts removed. And wearing glasses like this would help prevent having to have that type of surgery at some point in the future. So it's another great thing about these glasses. So in my initial video with the Top Focal Premier Kit, one of the things that I said that I thought could be improved is the size of the focal area in these lenses. And if you saw that video, I talked about putting the glasses on and the lens is a little bit higher than I would like it to be and I had to bring my head down a little farther than I would prefer in order to get a good sight picture. And this is one of the things that has been corrected by Mike with a redesign of not really the frame, but actually the nose piece in the frame. And I'm going to have to get a close-up view in order for you to be able to see exactly how this works. But essentially, you can squeeze the nose piece together, and that will cause the glasses to set higher on your face, which of course will raise that focal area. Or you can open it up, which will cause the glasses to set lower on your face and bring that focal area lower. So now, with the nose piece adjusted properly, I come up and I get my sight picture very quickly and very easily, and I don't have a lot of head movement one way or the other in order to accomplish that. Another thing that I mentioned is that when I put the glasses on, they tended to, and this of course is underneath hearing protection and everything else, move a little bit, and sometimes they would start to slide down so I didn't care for that. That I have solved with this strap, which is also available from SSP. And it's actually the strap that comes with the Metal Kit. And I'll talk about the Metal Kit in a little bit. But Mike said this is also available separately. I like this a lot because I put it on. It keeps the glasses very secure. Nothing's moving around. If I'm engaged in some sort of dynamic activity, I don't have to worry about the glasses moving. So I like that strap a lot. Another comment that I made in the initial video had to do with the case. And I mentioned that with this soft case, I accidentally managed to dump all the lenses out. Then I had to sort them out and figure out which ones were the top focal lenses, which ones were not the top focal lenses and all that. And that situation with the case has been remedied. Do I need to, need to even say anymore? <laughs> How about this? A foam lined hard case for your glasses with room to store all the lenses and there's even a place in here where you can put a GPS locator so that if you can't find your glasses case you'll be able to use the GPS locator and track them down. So another great feature, great improvement and these glasses are not inexpensive so if you're investing in good eye protection that's going to give you that good vision correction it's worth investing in a good case that's going to keep everything safe and you're going to be able to find it if all of a sudden you misplace it one day. 
So great, great case that definitely solves that issue with the lenses falling out that I talked about in the first video. So along with everything that I've told you so far, these glasses also, or I should say the lenses of these glasses, meet ANSI Z87.1 standards. I looked that up online when I recorded the first video, and essentially what that means is these are tested to make sure that they are providing very good protection for your eyes. If you want to read the standard for yourself, I would encourage you to look it up. Also, these glasses are approved by the National Tactical Officers Association, and there was a development that came about as a result of working with police officers, and specifically police firearms instructors, out on the West Coast, and Mike explained this to me, and it's one of my favorite parts of these new glasses. Along with the top focal lens that is intended to help you when you're shooting, for instructors who tend to be, once again, the more, shall we say, experienced officers in the department, there is now a bottom bifocal, and the way this works is you put the top focal lens over your dominant eye, and the bottom bifocal, and by the way, SSP calls the bottom bifocal lens the denial lens. I'm not sure what we're in denial of, but, but whatever we're denying, <laughs> it's called the denial lens. But when you have the glasses on, and, and think about this, all you firearms instructors out there, you know, when you're shooting and you come up to shoot, I now have the vision correction over my dominant eye for shooting. But then if I'm looking at my watch, looking at a timer, writing down somebody's score, or doing any number of other things, the bottom bifocal lens over my non-dominant eye allows me to see those things clearly. So it's an entire system to be able to allow you to do whatever you need to do on the range, and I really like this. These are the glasses, if you've noticed in several of my recent videos, I've been wearing different SSP lenses. These are the ones that I think I've worn most commonly because as I said, I like this color and it works very, very well. In fact, I had these on a moment ago and I had to make an adjustment to my camera for this video. And I just walked back there and I'm looking through the bottom bifocal lens as I'm making my camera adjustment. And that worked out very, very well. So this is something great. It's a wonderful development. And this is part of the SSP Top Focal Ultra Kit. So you get a variety of different color lenses, and I'll take these all out to show them to you in a little bit. A variety of different color lenses that have both the top focal lens and the bottom bifocal lens to allow you that flexibility when you're on the range. Now, the copper bronze lens that I like so well is not part of the kit. So if you like these lenses, you can order them separately to have this color. And all of these lenses are very quickly interchangeable. You can pull them out, whichever color you want to use on a given day based on the lighting conditions for that day. You can swap in and you're all set to go. And again, with the Ultra Kit, you've got that top focal and bottom bifocal to be able to use over your dominant and non-dominant eye respectively. So on we go to some close-up views of the SSP shooting glasses. And this is the pair that I have been using a lot lately. And you can see over my dominant eye, my right eye, there is that vision correcting lens. And over my non-dominant eye, there is the lower bifocal, trying to get the light just right so you can see where those are. On the inside of the frames, hopefully you're going to be able to see these rubber pads, and that's not wanting to focus, that's a little bit better there. And also, the nose piece has that same rubber compound that I talked about, helps the glasses to adhere to your face. And also, you can see this redesigned nose piece in the frame, and this is what allows you to adjust the height of the frames, and thereby the lenses, on your face so that they properly line up with your eyes. And let me grab the old or the original Premiere frames and I can show you the difference in that nose piece. So here are the original frames from my Premiere kit that I got last year. And you can see the nose piece is completely different. There's really no adjustability in these. 
and the one on the new frames is very adjustable. So I really like that and it does away with that situation that I talked about last year with not being able to get that lens exactly where I wanted it in front of my shooting eye. Now at this time, the new frames with the adjustable nose piece is not available, but according to Mike, that's going to be an option available later this year, and eventually this new frame is going to become part of the kits. So for right now, if you want this new adjustable frame, you'll have to hold on for a little bit, but keep an eye on the SSP website, and as I said, these will be available as an option later on this year. Now, as I said, the copper bronze lenses that you see here are not part of the Top Focal Ultra Kit, but let me show you what does come in the kit. And by the way, this kit has a 1.75 correction, and that's gone up from the ones that I got last year, which were a 1.5 correction. I'm not sure why that was necessary, but uh, for some reason, that seems to work better for me now. But you can see the same zippered case comes with the Ultra Kit. And I might not have made this clear before, this case is available separately. So if you want the hard case for the protection of your shooting glasses with the ability to put the GPS tracking device in there and all that, you'll need to purchase that separately. And once I get this out of the plastic, there we go. And it does come with a lens cloth that you see there and instructions on how to change the lenses. And we can see that the clear lenses are in here to begin with. And interestingly, I asked Mike specifically if the clear lenses still have the 100% UVA slash UVB blocking characteristics. And he said, yes, they do. So. That's an interesting thing to learn. I thought there would have to be some sort of tint to the lenses to prevent that harmful light coming through. It turns out they do not have to be tinted at all. And I'll take a few moments and get all the lenses out, lay them out here so you can see them, then I'll talk a little bit more about them. And as promised, here is the Ultra Kit all removed from its packaging. And I have arrayed the lenses with all of the top focal lenses on this side and all of the bottom bifocal lenses on this side. So with this kit, whether you are right eye dominant or left eye dominant, you can set it up the way that I talked about a little while ago with the top focal lens over your dominant shooting eye and the bottom bifocal lens over your non-dominant eye. They come with three different colors, or I should say two different colors, and then the clear lenses. Obviously there are two clear lenses installed in the frame already. These are the other two clear lenses. It comes with the smoke lenses and the amber lenses. So you get something for varying light conditions, for very bright conditions. You've got the smoke lenses. For more cloudy days or lower light conditions, you have the amber lenses. And for extreme darkness, either nighttime or what have you, you've got the clear lenses. And I've got to say, I am thinking about getting another frame and using the bottom bifocal clear lenses here in the shop because I've got somewhere around here, and I don't see them right off the bat, an old cheapy pair of safety glasses here in the shop, and I would like to have that vision correcting bottom bifocal when I'm working on things just to make it a little bit easier and to have that eye protection. So again, this is the SSP Top Focal Ultra Kit, and this is what comes with it along with the lens cloth and the instructions for changing the lenses. Next up, we have the Metau kit. And by the way, I asked Mike about the names for these lenses or for these various shooting glasses, and he mentioned that they are named after Native American names for rivers in the state of Washington where SSP is located. And I found that to be interesting as well, and that increased my knowledge of Washington State by 100%, <laughs> just learning that one fact. I will go ahead and remove the Metal Kit. By the way, as you can tell by the packaging, this kit is intended for shotgunners, and there are some unique qualities about these glasses that I'll go into once I get everything out of the box. And here is the Metal Kit out of its box, and it does come 
in a zippered hard case that you see here. And when we open the case, once again there is a frame, and this is a different frame from the top focal glasses that we've been looking at. And this one is in OD green, and I think there are six different colors, and they're listed on the side of the box. So you can get frames in either OD green, as I have here, or camo, desert tan, purple, teal, black. So whatever color, <laughs> almost, of the rainbow that you prefer, you can get your metal frame in that color. And I have the Kiwi Brown lens installed in these frames. And these are not vision correcting lenses as I've been showing you with the top focal glasses, but rather these are intended for shotgunners and these various colors of the lens are intended to make orange targets stand out more. So when you think about the clay birds against whatever type of sky you might be dealing with, all of these different colors work with the different sky colors or the different lighting conditions to make those orange birds that much more visible. And with the kit, along with the frames, you get six lenses to include a clear lens, and I'll take these all out of their packaging, a tangerine colored lens, what they call a huckleberry lens, a high definition lemon lens, and all of these are high definition by the way, and this one actually is the Huckleberry. I got these out of order. So this is the Huckleberry, and this one is grapefruit colored. Again, I'll take these all out of the plastic and you'll be able to see them easier. And there is the Metal kit set up for all the world to see. Again, just like with the other lenses that I was talking about, these all meet the ANSI standards. These all are the optically correct, decentralized lenses. And I'll try to get this description right. I mentioned this earlier in the video. According to Mike, the optically correct decentralized lenses prevent any distortion of the light as it travels through the lens. And if you think about taking a pool cue or something that's very straight and putting it into a swimming pool, you know that at the point where it goes into the water, it appears to bend. That's because of the light refracting as it travels through the water. And with poorly made lenses for shooting glasses or any other kind of glasses, if the light refracts as it comes through the lens, it can change the way your sights appear on your rifle, pistol, or shotgun. So it's important for light to travel straight through these lenses, and that is what the decentralized, optically correct lenses accomplish through the technology that's used in their manufacture. So that's my best explanation of the decentralized, optically correct lens. The packaging that comes along with the Metal shows you what light conditions all of these lenses work best for looking at those orange targets that I talked about a while ago. And if you look down through here, you can see, you know, Brighton's orange targets and the light conditions that that works in. And the same is true for every color. There are other colors, if you prefer, that you can also get. And this chart comes along inside the box with the Metal Kit. So if you want certain other types of colors to be able to use for different lighting conditions, you can order those separately from SSP. I've used these things various times under various lighting conditions, and right now I've got the Kiwi Brown lens installed. This is one that I really like in bright sunlight. And you can see that it's not a really dark tint to the lens. Even so, it still gives you that 100% UVA, UVB protection, and it gives you all the other protection that I talked about with regard to shatterproof, impact resistance, and all of that. So this is a great kit for you shotgunners out there. And again, if there are other colors that you want, you can get those as well. The Metal Kit comes with instructions that explain how to swap the lenses from the frames. And also it comes with two additional nose pieces. There is 
a nose piece and this was the lens that was originally in the frame when I received it and you can see it's a different color it's black and there are also and those just fell like dominoes <laughs> there are also two clear nose pieces that come so that they can be swapped into and out of the lenses now as I said there are six lenses and you end up with a total of three nose pieces and what I found is swapping the lenses in and out of the frames is pretty simple. It is not difficult at all to swap those. However, swapping the nose pieces from lens to lens is a little bit of a challenge. And maybe there's a trick to it that I just haven't figured out quite yet. I wish SSP would include just an extra nose piece for each one of the lenses so you didn't have to worry about swapping that back and forth. And I would encourage you, if you're looking at purchasing this kit, go ahead and just purchase a couple of extra nose pieces. Actually, you need three extra nose pieces to go with it. That way, all you have to do is swap out your lenses with the frames, which is a very quick and simple process, and you don't have to worry about trying to take the time and put forth the effort to swap in those nose pieces every time. And the other items that come with the Metal kit are a lens cloth. And I mentioned this earlier. This is the strap that originally was part of this kit, but I stole it out of there <laughs> and put it on the shooting glasses that I've been using out at the range recently because I really like this strap. And again, that is available separately, although it's not listed on the website. So if you're interested in one of these straps, I would say just give SSP a call or send them an email and they should be able to accommodate you if you're trying to get one of these. Now, as I said, the lenses for the Metal kit are not vision correcting. But if you need vision correction, there is a prescription adapter, which I have here, that is available for the Metal kit. Now, if you do need the Metal prescription adapter, it can be ordered directly from SSP with your prescription installed. So all you have to do is contact them for more details, and they can tell you exactly how to go about ordering the adapter. The adapter actually attaches to the nose piece, and I'm not going to take the nose piece out to show you this right now, but it attaches and you can have your vision correcting prescription inserted inside of the metal frame, as I said, attached to the nose piece, and you'll be able to have that advantage while you're shooting. So another well thought out item that can be used to enhance the performance of your metal shooting glasses. And last up are the Entiot sunglasses that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And these also are named after a river in Washington State. They come in a variety of different colors. They are shatterproof. They have anti-scratch coating. They block all of the UV rays. And on top of everything else, they look cool. In fact, they almost make me look cool. And there's a look at those vision correcting bifocals and these are available from plus 1.25 up to plus 3.0 for your vision correction. So a few last thoughts before I wrap up today's video folks. First off, SSP is another one of these great small US manufacturers that is putting out really good products and they're designed to keep you safe and improve your shooting and one of the things about SSP that I found when I was looking through the information on their website is the company is actually dedicated to Mike's grandfather who lost an eye as a child. And that's one of those things that I see a lot of times with smaller companies. There's some story behind how they got the idea for whatever products they are manufacturing. And I really enjoy bringing those stories and these smaller manufacturers to all of you. In fact, I hope to have Mike on in the near future for a guest on a live stream because I think he could tell some of these stories and also communicate a lot of this technical information much, much better than I did. <laughs> but in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, as always, make sure you forward those to me. I want to thank Mike and SSP for providing the products you saw in this video. Remember, if you purchase anything from Optics Planet, like some of these SSP products, you can use my discount code, which is, and if you use that discount code, it's now good for 7% off your purchase from Optics Planet. Also, if you purchase anything from Hot Munitions, be sure to use my discount code there, 
which is HR Plunk 10, and that'll save you 10% off your purchase from Hot Munitions. Last but certainly not least is the Target sponsor for the channel. If you go to Targets online, check out their inventory and see if they have anything that's going to meet your target needs. See you next time, folks. And until then, with a cool pair of shades, good shooting. Bye-bye.